Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am Amanda Barrows and today I will be talking about how to use the basic version of vidIQ. If you've watched my YouTube analytics video, you already know that I am a very new content creator and I'm exploring different free resources to properly optimize my videos. So what is vidIQ? vidIQ is an online education website that has a Google Chrome extension that helps you with YouTube channel growth through videos and tutorials. It allows users to dive deeper into YouTube analytics. Why should you use a third-party SEO resource? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. SEO resources help you optimize your videos without having to do a lot of the legwork. The benefits of optimizing your content is making sure it is ranked higher in search engines, therefore increasing your chances of gaining more views and growing a larger following. How much does it cost? I am utilizing the free version, which has a lot of useful tools and resources, including the Chrome extension that I mentioned earlier. What does the free version get you? You are able to connect one user and one channel. It tracks three competitors. It gives you one trend alert. It has a video scorecard, a live stats bar that does basic video analytics, and it compares views between your channel average and your last video watched. And it also claims that on average, users get double the views in the first seven days of newly uploaded videos. vidIQ dashboard. So the first thing you need to do is download the Chrome extension. And to do that, you need to go onto the website, click extension and install Chrome extension. Once you do that, you can go to the little puzzle on the right, go down to manage extensions and make sure that vidIQ vision for YouTube is turned on. Once you log in, you are all set to use vidIQ. If you go to the dashboard, you can see the live stats bar on the top. This is based on the last 30 days. Right over here on the left, you can see the comparison between your performance versus the three selected competitors. And then to the right here is your keyword opportunities based on your content. It also shows you the best time to post videos based on your subscribers activity. Below that, it shows you what channels your subscribers interact with. On the right here, it shows you your video performance so far. And at the bottom, it shows you the top search terms that are bringing in views to your channel. So this is where you can research different keywords and find out what their overall vidIQ score is. The higher the score, the better the keyword. You want to find keywords that are searched for a lot, but have less competition. If you click on competitors, it shows you a little more detail about your performance versus your competitors. And then if you click on subscribers, it goes a little more in detail about what your subscribers are interacting with. And then last, you have SEO. So this is where vidIQ has tag recommendations for any of your videos that have potential to be optimized better. I don't have any recommendations at the moment, but typically it would show you the video to be worked on along with the recommended tags. And you can add those tags right from here instead of having to copy and paste them back into YouTube studio. So now that I've gone over the website, I'm going to go over how to upload a video and optimize it using vidIQ. So I could talk about how to use vidIQ more, but I figured it would be more helpful to actually go through a step-by-step -step of me uploading a video to show you guys how to utilize vidIQ's free resources right on YouTube Studio itself. So I have a test video already set up right here. I'm just gonna click on details to get into it. So first you have your title. This needs to be relevant to your content, but also something that people are going to want to click into. So I'm just going to go with how to use vidIQ free resources. Then you have the description. This needs to be relevant to your content, like a quick summary of your video, but this is also where you would throw in any links or social media accounts or anything that you want your viewers to have easy access to. Next, you can upload your thumbnail. You can either create a custom thumbnail from scratch or you can click on one of the preset still frames from your video. You can also go over here and create a thumbnail using vidIQ where you basically can pick which still frame you want to use as your thumbnail. And then down here, you can add your video to a specific playlist. You can choose whether it is made for kids or not, or whether it is age restricted. Eventually, when you are doing paid promotions, you would check this box right here. And then down here is where you would add in your tags. 
So for tags, I like to check out similar videos on YouTube and see what tags they're using, which is another perk of using vidIQ. You just click on a video and it shows you all of their tags and stats. In this case, I'm just going to show you one of my recent uploads, which is right here. If you scroll down over here on the right, it will show you the optimization checklist according to vidIQ, and then it shows you the list of tags that are used. If you like the tags that you're seeing, you can click the little paper clip and that's going to copy all of the tags and then you can just go back to YouTube Studio and you can paste them. So from here you can delete whatever tags you don't want, add in the tags that vidIQ is recommending, which is all down here, and then you can also organize them according to relevancy. So if you put a tag down here that you would rather have up at the top, you just have to hit organize tags and then you can just drag it up there and drop it and hit organize. You can also add in search terms you want to rank for and it will show you your best options. So if you go over here, I'm just gonna type in vidIQ and check out the results and it's gonna show me similar videos with relevant tags to vidIQ that I can also check out and then copy paste them. All right, so once we're happy with our tags and all the information we've put in, we actually go back and put in our final touches. We wanna go back and see what vidIQ is recommending for you to put into your title and description. So say you want to use one of the recommendations, you can just add it in there and then type in whatever you want. Um, once you do that, you can come down here and it actually shows you your SEO score with vidIQ. And basically this is just what you can control before pushing out your video to try and optimize it best you can. So it gives you a tag count, it gives you a tag volume, keywords in title, keywords in description, and then triple keywords. So essentially you wanna hit all of those points to optimize your video to the best of your ability. Once you're done with that, you can decide when you wanna publish your video. You can either publish it immediately or you can schedule to publish it at a time that vidIQ is recommending, which is right up here. Um, you can do an overall time or you can click a specific day and it'll tell you when your viewers are more likely to watch your videos. You can put in cards to link in any of your other videos, especially if you talk about something specific that you want your viewers to be able to click into. That's where you would add that in right here. Once you are satisfied with your title, description, thumbnail, and tags, hit save and your video is ready for publishing. So that's it guys, that's how you can use the basic version of vidIQ to optimize your videos. I'm Amanda Barrows. If you like what you see and want more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications.